Hello StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Crank and No Regret on Bridgehead, the Ladder Edition. Alright, on the left side of Bridgehead, the Ladder Edition, we have the Red Zerg player. It is No Regret, representing Potato. That's fun. And in the bottom right of Bridgehead, the Ladder Edition, we have the Blue Protoss player. It is Crank. Crank is a professional StarCraft II player from Korea. He goes random on the Legacy of the Void ladder to no end to the entertainment of those who he streams to. You can find a link to his Twitch stream and his YouTube channel in the description here. Please check him out. Really, really fun guy. Drives crazy stuff. Makes it happen. And again, he's a really skilled player at the same time. And he goes random on ladder at the GM level. So come on, man. Give him some love. All right. So PVZ on Bridgehead, the latter edition. Of all the PVZs that I've done, I'm trying to think of how many have actually been on Bridgehead. And it feels like most of them have been on Terraform. Um, a lot of them on Orbital Shipyard as well. Seems like Bridgehead might be vetoed by some players. It's not as popular. Moonlight Madness and Bridgehead seem to be the, uh, the maps that I cast the least of. Terraform, Orbital Shipyard the most. Um, and then, yeah. Oh, look at this. Here we go. <laughs> Proxy Hatch. Coming on up for no regret here. Uh, there is one base back on home and a hatchery at these backdoor rocks, which can be pretty good. If Protoss is kind of holding on here uh, with gateways and walling off at the top, they might not be ready to see what's coming back here. Crank very, very smartly throws down a pylon to make sure that he knows when these rocks are going to fall. So he's not caught by surprise. So that's something you want to do, Protoss players. If there are backdoor rocks, Throw up a gateway or just a pylon back here or something, just so you know if they're going to fall and you can have some time to be ready to respond to it. There's the gas, there's the spawning pool, there's another hatchery back here for no regret. And Overlord pushing on up here to scout things out at the same time, see what's going on at the front door. Cybernetics coming on down, Cybernetics core rather, and double assimilator. And a pretty early nexus as well for Crank, so this build for Crank might... I mean, he's going for that early Nexus. It did finish. He's getting pro production up. He makes a Zealot, not even waiting to make Adepts. This might work. Can he see this? Uh, no, Crank cannot see that. He's not scouting at all either. He's pretty much just sitting inside his base, macroing up, taking up as best he can. And now, you know what? I don't think he can see it now either because these, um, these plants... <laughs> Oh, for heaven's sakes. We're back. My computer says it's slow on memory. But yeah, I think the creep is now visible. Can Crank see this is the question. And if he does, he has to look very, very closely. Because look, it just kind of looks like the dirt, except it's moving, which is what creep does. So spine crawler being thrown up by no regret. The better to knock down through these rocks. Rock, they do pretty well against rocks better than lings anyway which is what i think this is it's basically just a mass ling place metabolic boost is on the way two spine crawlers a queen being researched oh just popped out now the rocks are officially trying to be knocked down let's see if crank notices here if we go there and we go to his camera is kind of running around right now and does he know about it he sees it he sees it now yep <clears throat> that pylon is going to die for sure, the Adept says. I don't know if I can handle this by myself. Mothership Core comes over at the same time. Alright, so the rocks are definitely under fire. By no regret. There are lings, there are spine crawlers slowly, slowly wailing away. A creep tumor gets thrown down at the same time. There will be creep inside the main base of Crank in just about a second or two here. What is going to happen for Potato's representative, I don't really know. There are a lot of Lings on the field. It's 42 to 42 total supply, 32 to 19 harvesters. Crank is up, and here comes the Ling Assault, trying to get a surround on these units. The Adepts get surrounded and killed almost immediately. Photon Overcharge being thrown down, killing several of those Lings to go right on up into the main mineral line here. Again, trying to kill the Adept, also trying to kill workers. The workers are hanging on for their own lives. Another Photon Overcharge coming up once more. Trying to kill pylons now. That is the target for no regret. So there are fewer things to actually overcharge. Crank being forced to use probes to fight at this point. That is how desperate this situation is. Running around again. The link count is pretty low. Coming back on down here. The queens, the spine crawlers are burrowing at the front. This base is on complete lockdown. I think Crank has lost his main or lost his natural. Rather, how much energy on this mothership court? Enough for one more photon overcharge. And the Lings are forced to back out once again. But killing this pylon, killing this Nexus, I don't think Crank's even going to really try to defend it. 
He has two adepts. Two adepts, warping in additional adepts here, trying just to stay alive. Getting a pretty good surround again, though. The Lings come right on in. The Adepts are taking a lot of damage. They're taking a lot of Zerglings with them. At the same time, is there enough for an overcharge? There is now. And there it is. There's a Photon Overcharge. All of the Adepts are completely dead. But the Lings back out once more. A lot of damage on top of that Queen. More Adepts warp on in, though. Queen holds her own, dies, tries to kill the Mothership Core. Cannot quite do it. Spine Crawlers popping up Creep Tumors at the same time. The Creep is this close to Crank's main base. There are no drones in production for Regret. There are 19 Harvesters right now. The Ling's in a pretty tough space right now. Trying to kill what they can, going after Pylons. Again, can they depower these gateways? That's a pretty good Pylon to get. And it's very close, but yes, they do manage to get it. Depowering those two gateways. This one is still alive. So there are two gateways right now for Crank in production, trying to throw these spine crawlers up. The Ling's trying to defend them. Does Crank want to attack or defend at this point? If he lets these spine crawlers finish, it could spell doom for him. And there they go, going right after that assimilator. I think that's all they're in range to attack. They can't get that pylon. Crank, at this point, trying to decide what to do. Repowering these gateways, that's really nice. Crank has enough money for a few more adepts here. If that's what he wants to go for. Queens in production. Lings in production. Creep tumors coming up at the same time. That creep tumor does finish. There will be creep right on top of these buildings for Crank. Look at this. The gateway is going to have creep on top of it. Such a gross thing to see. And here comes the push by Crank. He has zealots. He has adepts. The Lings need to come in here and support. And they do. The Lings get right on top of everything. Pretty good force fields though. The zealots going to town on these Lings at the same time. There is still a spine crawler. It needs to help. With this attack, the Lings are slowly, slowly whittling down the units, but that uh, wasn't actually enough. More Lings come on in, though, trying to kill Adepts. Adepts are just so difficult to kill. Pretty good force field, forcing back those Lings. That Adepts has five kills. That Sentry has four kills. That one has two. Just hero Adepts here. Heroes of Ire or Shakuras or whoever they are right now. So here we are. Creep right at the front door for crank but it is 35 to 42 total supply 19 to 19 total harvesters more even than you would think at this point there's a queen there's more lings down here plus one lings i think if i was no regret i would get that plus one attack for those lings but again i just don't think he's harvesting any gas at this point at all nope just sitting on this 19 harvester economy trying to build things as fast as humanly possible 14 more in production as well. Are we injecting? Not really. Again, another attack. Good force fields catching some lings inside there. A lot of lings have died in this game. 132 have died. Eight zealots. 14 adepts as well for the Protoss player. The queen wants to kill that mothership core so bad. Can't do it. Another attack of lings, but there are a lot of zealots mixed in here at the same time. And that zealot ends up dead. The zealots on the front line, though, trying to kill what they can. Up to two kills on that one. Do we have any adepts in this army? Do five adepts or five kills on that adept? It just uh, zealot adept heavy. I think that's just need against these against these lings. Forty-five to forty-four total supply once again. And I don't know. I think no regret might want to set up a contain here. Ah, oh, just such a tenuous position. And you know what I said about there's no cheese anymore in Legacy of the Void? This is definitely cheese. So <laughs> I'm glad that Craig sent me this replay. We'll have to see if he can win it or not. He does send me both wins and losses. He just kind of throws at me whatever he's been playing lately on his Switch stream. Um, but here comes a push out. Crank trying to make this work. The link count is not that high. There's only, okay, there's 46 links. Where are they, though? Is this them? They're trying to find a good angle to attack. They know force fields are going to be a problem. There they are, getting us around. Force fields again. Zealots just going to town on these links, killing all that they can. No upgrades, but look at that. That was a lot, a lot of dead Zerglings here. Pushing out again. Crank trying to make something happen. Zealots in the front going after this hatchery. There are two queens. They're in a lot of trouble. They really can't go anywhere. They're so slow. Off of creep. The number of Zerglings now is only 25. I don't think that's enough to kill this many Zealots and Adepts and Sentries. Yeah, there's another one that dies. The hatchery will not actually live to spawn its additional larva. It does fall. The broodlings are ineffective against this composition by Crank. And now Crank has a decision to make. Can, does Crank want to expand? Or does Crank want to push out and try to kill this Zerg player? The Zerglings are checking to see if there's another base. There's not. So that's pretty good for the Zerg player. It is still two base to one base at this point. The Queens do get surrounded and destroyed. Transfuses are to no avail. Both of them end up dead. The Lynx can't decide if they want to try to kill this army or kill what's going on up here. Mothership Core has enough for almost four Photon Overcharges, though. The Lynx, I think they made the right decision going after this army, but there are just so few 
of them. Lings in production, 19 to 18 total supply. The Ling composition again against this number of Zealots and Adepts is just not good. A surround here from the Lings. Pretty good force fields. Look at that. Not allowing Lings to kill these guys in here, but they back out, absorbing or just getting away from those force fields. So many z uh, drones are going to die here. The Lings come in for one more stand, getting on top of the Adepts and the Sentries. The Sentry does fall, but the Adepts just two-shotting Lings left and right. Zealots as well doing pretty good, holding their own. And that's it. No regrets defeated. Cranks victorious and no regret has left the game. Look at that. Look at that. 10 drones to 13 probes. At this point, it was 18 to 47 total supply. Crank did manage to win. Units lost tab shows... How many, or that's the units lost. There we go. 269 lings died, 16 zealots, 17 adepts, and 6 sentries. So just pretty crazy intense ZVP there from Crank. Again, Crank goes random. So we got Protoss, didn't know what he was going to get, and ended up winning the game with it. So pretty fantastic there. That just goes to show I thought Crank was dead. He had creep sitting on his main base. Look at this. He has buildings under creep right now. Disgusting. So gross to see pinned in there, but he managed to pull out. He recognized what No Regret was doing, recognized that No Regret was making Lings, main Zealots, and Adepts to compensate a couple sentries to help with the force fields, and it was enough to win. So pretty great stuff. Thanks again to Crank for sending that in. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Hit that like button, please. Hit that subscribe to catch more daily Legacy of the Void uploads. You can also share my videos on Reddit and Twitch, not Twitch, Twitter and Facebook, all those great places. Just let people know the legend of Falcon Paladin. Okay, I'm not a legend. I don't know why I said that. That's embarrassing. But until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all that you guys do and take care of yourselves.